a very good day students today we'll study about data entry and keyboarding skills let's see so in this unit we'll learn about data entry and keyboarding skills the keyboard is an is what it is an input device or we can say it is a standard input device that you can use to type command or text into a computer right so different keyboards have different key layouts okay when you are using keyboards there are different type of key layouts okay but in addition the functions of some keys such as delete backspace page up and down may vary from program to program key label from f1 to f12 are known as what your function keys they are used to perform specific functions that differ from program to program such as f1 key mostly access the help file associated with a program now keys such as control uh, and shift or space bar alt caps lock and tab are special keys okay the special keys perform special function depending on where they are used keyboard also contain a windows key or os key uh, between the control key and the alt key this is used to open the start menu or in combination with other keys these are the keys which are used for entering the letters and numbers okay there are some of the keys okay like letters and number for writing the letters or number we use uh, that type of keys okay punctuation keys okay punctuation keys include keys for punctuation marks such as colon semicolon question mark single quotation mark or double quotation mark the label or enter key can be either enter or return depending on the brand of the computer that you are using we use enter or the return key to move the cursor to the beginning of a new line in some program it is used to send commands or to confirm a task on a computer okay uh, return means what backspace okay keys such as insert delete and backspace are command keys when the insert key is turned on it helps you to overwrite characters to the right of the cursor when the insert key is off it helps you to enter text or character to the right of the cursor without overwriting the text or character the delete key and the backspace key are used to remove type, type text characters and other objects on the right and left side of the cursor respectively you can open the word and you can try all the keys you can uh, you will find that uh, you will get the knowledge of all the keys okay so you can try it now keys such as the arrow key home and page up and page down are navigation keys okay you use the arrow keys to move the cursor up down right right and left the home key moves the cursor to the left end of a line of text the end key moves the cursor to the end of the line page up key is used to move one page up and page down key is used to move one page down while viewing a document numeric keypad if available is a separate set of keys with numbers from 0 to 9 that a symbol point special character and navigation symbols num lock key on this keypad allow you to switch between the numeric and the navigation keys okay you can see this are the function keys okay or modifier keys next is your lock key scroll lock is available okay next is your print screen pause button insert delete okay Le uh, this is enter key this is one is a return key or backspace key these are the characters uh, character keys or these are number keys this is arrow buttons okay uh, this one is shift key this one is control this one is alt this one is window key okay um this one is also done enter key num lock what happens now when you click on num lock then uh, you uh, you could not be able to enter anything or uh, when you just release the num lock then what happens you can enter this buttons okay alphabet or letter keys the keys which have letters or alphabet printed on them are called the alphabet keys there are 26 alphabet keys on the keyboard number key the keyboard also has number 0 to 9 there are also called the number keys there, there are total 10 number keys on the keyboard these keys are used for typing numbers space bar is the longest key this is known as what space bar it is the longest key on the keyboard you can use this key to give a small space between two words or letter okay like i am a student so i then space then am then space then a then space then student okay type one space then press the uh, type i then press the space bar key once okay only once you have to give if you want to give one space then you will click once if you want to give two space then you will click 
टू स्पेस टू ट्वाइस ओके एंड की दिस की हेल्प अस टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लाइन ऑन न्यू पैराग्राफ फाइल टाइपिंग देयर मे बी टू एंटर कीज ऑन ए कीबोर्ड लाइक फर्स्ट एंटर की दिस वन एंड सेकंड वन इज दिस वन ओके कैप्स लॉक की इज यूज्ड टू टाइप लेटर्स इन कैपिटल प्रेसिंग दिस की विल स्विच ऑन और ऑफ द कैप्स लॉक लाइट ओके सम कीबोर्ड सम कीबोर्ड हैज द लाइट एंड सम कीबोर्ड डज नॉट ओके सो इट इज ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट इज delete key and backspace sometimes we make mistakes while typing on the computer to erase this mistake we can use what delete key or backspace delete key erases anything typed to the right of the cursor and backspace erases anything typed to the left of the cursor you can try it okay arrow keys are used to move the cursor left right up down on the computer screen a cursor is a small blinking line on the monitor which allow like this this type of thing is known as what cursor okay up arrow key it moves the cursor up down arrow key it moves the cursor down right arrow key moves the cursor right and left arrow key moves the cursor to the left advanced keyboard keys next punctuation key punctuation key are special character that are used in sentences for example comma full stop if you want to give comma full stop then what you will do you will use the punctuation keys for that okay some uh, example like exclamatory mark exclamatory mark is available uh, there are two keys are available one an exclamatory mark is available in one key okay for uh, an exclamatory uh, mark is available in the top one okay one is in down so down one does not need any other sticky keys to be used with that uh, you can use it but for the upward uh, uh, like exclamatory is in upside no so for that uh, to be used that uh, sign you have to press the shift key and uh, keeping it pressed with one hand and using the other hand uh, other finger press the key that contains what exclamatory sign without pressing the shift key what happens only one will be displayed okay since one and exclamatory sign both are displayed in only one key that's why okay so uh, some of the key use this type of method next is symbol keys symbol keys on the keyboard contain some symbol or special characters for example dollar and uh, this asterisk at the rate asterisk tra some of these symbol are used in different languages and in computer let us find out what the symbols are called this is known as what tilde or wavy line this is at or at the rate next is hash or number next dollar this is percentage this is known as caret or shift next is and or ampersand uh, this is asterisk or star this is known as plus and minus okay next this is known as and parenthesis okay in this is what parenthesis this bracket is known as what parenthesis or single parenthesis this is underscore this one is your curly braces this is square brackets this is your angle brackets this one is forward slash and this one is backward slash respectively and this is your pipe okay so special keys look at the keyboard did you see any keys that have strange labels or names written on them what are the strange names escape esc tab key shift key okay uh all it okay these are the strange name isn't it so these are known as what special keys so let us see esc or escape key does what the escape key is pressed to close any operation or pop-up menu or any dialog box okay to close anything we use what escape any window to be closed or anything else we use what escape tab key this key is used to type a set of spaces together okay uh shift key this uh tab key is also used like in excel when you are working now what happens to move from one cell to another when you click on tab uh you don't need to uh, use what your mouse for moving from one cell to another just click the tab button and you can move okay uh, to get more spaces in between the uh, words okay Th in that cases also you can use tab in word okay next shift key this key is used to type capital letters and uppercase letter which are written at the top edge of the keys for example keys like sign shift keys also used in various software for uh, commands of shortcuts shift key and control key or alt key are also known as sticky keys because these keys are uh, together like control plus v means anything operation required by using two or three uh keys together could be known as what sticky keys okay and these three keys are usually used 
okay like uh, alt key alt key is called alternate key pressing it activity activates menu of the operand program it is also used other keys to give commands in shortcut for example alt plus tab flip together open windows alt plus f4 close the current window alt plus space displays option to maximize minimize and restore the windows okay scroll lock uh, prevent scrolling in a window pressing pressing it turns on scroll lock light on the keyboard pressing it again will remove okay uh, in some keyboard it is available and uh, in some keyboard it is not okay so it is optional part next is your num lock uh, locks the number keys on numeric keypad it can you cannot type numbers if it is num lock press um, button is pressed if you want to release it then you have to again press num lock it will be released from num lock and then you can type next is control key control key is used with different keys to give command to computer in shortcuts like your control plus b used to select test and uh, make it as bold control a select all test control plus z uh cancels the last action okay or undo the actions okay next is pause or break button uh to stop a program pressing it again will resume the program print screen print screen key is used to take the screenshot of the screen uh function keys f1 to f12 are the keys from f1 to f12 at the top of the keyboard these are the special purpose keys for example f1 displays help f2 is used to rename a file or a folder f5 replaces a window or desktop uh, in my keyboard uh, f1 and f2 uh, represents the mute uh, and speaker on also f4 and f5 represent the rewind and off rewind and pause button okay in my keyboard it is displayed okay basically not f1 and 11 uh, f12 represent in my keyboard as uh, uh, like screen uh, brightness uh, set the brightness okay so uh, it differs in all the uh, keyboards okay you can check in your keyboard that what this indicates okay computer mouse a computer mouse serves as what your pointing device okay it is a, a computer mouse is which type of device it is an input device isn't it so it is used to select items and options click the open the program move the item or drag and drop option also could be done there are uh, two buttons available in your mouse first one is left button and right button and a scroll wheel is also available to move from one page to another okay so functioning of a mouse mouse of two types mechanical and optical mouse that has this rubber or metal ball on the underside is called mechanical mouse when the user moves the mouse on the mouse pad the ball rolls which is turn roll the two tiny roller perpendicular to each other and fit it in such a way that they touch the surface of the ball movement of each tiny roller sends the signal for x and y screen coordinates and optical mouse has the led emitting dad led and a photo sensor at its base okay so beam from the led reflects from the surface on which you move the mouse right in uh, right now we are using men, means uh, almost all are using which type of mouse optical mouse we are using in the uh, means uh, uh, five to six year back we were using which type of mouse mechanical mouse where the metal ball is uh, available or the rubber ball is available how to hold the mouse place the palm see how it is being hold finger button should be in the middle ring button is should be there little finger should be here index button should be in the left mouse and thumb should be in the right okay so this is how you could be able to hold next left click or clicking single click selects an item on the screen bring the pointer over the side item like an icon press the left button mouse button and release it quickly at once right click display shortcut menu you will use shortcut menus in various programs bring the pointer over the desired item on the screen press the right mouse button and release it quickly at once scroll means what it moves from up down or sideways in a window roll the scroll scroll wheel or down for vertical scrolling double click helps in opening the programs to double click hold the mouse and press the left mouse button twice quickly drag and drop left button also used to drag and drop you need to uh, keep selected the left button pressed and then move the browse and then you need to drag it and you have to drop it okay now typing ergonomics what do you mean by this typing ergonomics involves the factor that ensures 
कंफर्टेबल टाइपिंग पोर्शन एंड यूसेज ऑफ टाइपिंग एक्विपमेंट एंड फर्नीचर विदाउट हार्मिंग आर हेल्थ सो देर इज सम पोजिशन ऑफ हैंड्स वाइल यूजिंग द की बोर्ड एंड माउस योर नेक एंड शोल्डर शुड बी रिलैक्सड योर अपर आर्म एंड एल्बो शुड मेक ए लिटिल मोर दैन नाइन्टी डिग्री एंगल योर रिच शुड बी स्ट्रेट द एल्बो शुड ना इधर टच दी बॉडी नॉट बी टू फार अवे फ्रॉम द बॉडी माउस शुड शुड नॉट कॉज प्रेशर ऑन द रेस्ट अवॉइड बल्की माउस Keep mouse closer to the keyboard. Elbow should be bent and closer to the body. Okay, so these are some of the uh, thing which you should not do and which should be correct. Okay, next is monitor placement. Monitor should be placed at a distance anywhere between eighteen to thirty inches. Uh, you should be able to focus on the screen while sit. Uh, still using the back of the chair and keep your arms parallel to your upper body your eyes should be level with the top of the screen turn the screen brightness down to a comfortable level you should not bend your neck while working on the monitor i will also prefer you to use the specs okay while using while uh, sitting in front of the uh, system okay it will make your eyes Uh, keep safe from the harmful rays, uh, which uh, it, which is being exhibiting from where from your com uh, computer screen. Okay, sitting posture, chair uh, chair height should be adjustable. Chair should uh, swivel, rotate on center easily and completely 360 degree. Chair should have a good back support. You should be able to sit with your feet flat on the floor, knees appro approximately 90 degree. And you should take some break after 10 minutes. Please, like you should move your uh, fing uh, toes, fingers. okay or you can uh, stand up and down for uh, one minute okay you should move your uh, body in him after 10 10 minutes okay you should not uh, sit idle okay so this is all about our unit 2 that is data entry and keyboarding skills okay thank you